couple dozen trucks hit the road this morning to show what it takes to help the hungry here in Connecticut. It's called the Convoy of Caring, and it highlights the work major companies are doing to help the Hartford area's main food bank. News 8's Kim Pierce tells us all about it. Thanksgiving and Christmas are still a couple of months away, so why are we talking about food donation today? Well, that's because people are hungry every day, and that's why all of these trucks are lined up full of donated food. Two dozen trucks formed a rolling reminder of what it takes to feed the hungry and who helps them out. They call it the Convoy of Caring. The food industry over the years has donated over 100 million meals uh, to people in the region, people in need. It, it really helps people get from today to tomorrow. Almost three quarters of the meals distributed by Food Share come from in kind donations from all those industry partners represented on the trucks, companies like Price Right Supermarkets. In the past year, we've, we've uh, held about eight events like this, and uh, we've fed over 6,400 families. The sight of all those trucks heading from Rocky Hill to Bloomfield is an acknowledgement of all the help the companies provide, but more needs to be done. This year's event had a focus on the need for more milk on the tables of hungry families. Feeding America has identified milk as one of the most needed items in food banks, but the least donated. And one of the reasons for that is because it's highly perishable. So the group Feeding America has come up with a voucher system to allow needy families to get milk from stores. That and all of the other food that comes in and out of Food Share's Bloomfield Warehouse will help feed 137,000 hungry people in Hartford and Tolland counties. And remember, this is just an example of what goes on every day behind the scenes without the cameras rolling. They couldn't do it without the help of all these companies, but they'd love your support too. If you want to help out Food Share, we've got information on our website, WTNH.com. In Bloomfield, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.